Um, my name is Sarah Jane Blakemore. I'm a professor of cognitive neuroscience at UCL in London, and my group's research focuses on the development of the adolescent brain. The reason I became interested in adolescence is because 75% of mental illness starts during the period of adolescence, which is the period between childhood and adulthood. I became interested in why this is. What is it about the brains of teenagers who go on to develop mental illness that differs from the brains of teenagers who don't suffer from mental illness? Now, I became interested in this question about 15 years ago, and back then, almost nothing was known about how the typically developing adolescent brain changes. So at that point, I decided to focus my own research on that very question. Um, one of the, so working with adolescents for the last 15 years, one of the things that I've noticed is that adolescents are really demonized by society in a way that no other sector of society is. So for example, whenever I tweet anything about working on the adolescent brain, I always get a reply saying something like, oh, what, adolescents actually have brains? You know, some kind of joke about teenagers. It seems to be completely socially acceptable to joke about teenagers and to demonize them. This is so strange to me that this is a, a, a group, a very large group of people worldwide who are, um, whose brains are developing, who show uh, heightened learning and creativity and passion uh, and involvement in society. We really shouldn't denigrate them, we should celebrate them. One of the uh, questions we're interested in is how the social brain develops, that is the network of brain regions that we use to understand and interact with other people. So we know, for example, that adolescence is a time where friendships take on particular importance. Uh, integrating with your social group and peer influence start to uh, really take hold. And we think this is, this is partly because you need to, to, during adolescence, develop a sense of your self. You need to develop a sense of self-identity and particularly a sense of social self, how other people see you. That's partly what adolescence is for. Um, in our research we're finding that many different aspects of social cognition change during adolescence, including the structure and the function of the social brain network. A second question that we're interested in is whether there are sensitive periods of brain development during adolescence. So we know that the adolescent brain changes hugely. It goes on changing right throughout the teenage years and into the 20s. But one next question is, is, there, is, is adolescence a sensitive period, a window of opportunity for learning, for example? So social learning or cognitive learning. And one of our recent experiments we looked at in a very large training study, we looked at whether uh, certain aspects of, uh, uh, of cognition are best learnt at certain points in adolescence and what we found was that uh, late adolescents are more efficient at acquiring certain types of cognitive information like reasoning than early adolescents and that's really interesting because it's exactly the opposite that would be predicted uh, based on theories from uh, of plasticity suggesting that earlier is always better for learning. We found the opposite. We found that actually certain high-level cognitive skills are acquired more efficiently later in adolescence. And what this suggests is that it's not too late for learning. Adolescence represents a window of opportunity for things like learning, education and intervention.